Oh my gosh, you guys, it's the last full weekend before Nano starts, and I have so much to do. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is another weekend vlog with yours truly, Laura. If you're new here, hi, I'm Laura. I'm a young adult horror writer, and I am pursuing um, traditional publication. I saw that weird, wickedly worded it. Um, I'm trying to become traditionally published, um, and this is my journey. Um, and right now, my journey is trying to get ready for NaNoWriMo. Um, I'm not doing the traditional NaNoWriMo. As you guys know, I'm sure you've all already seen my Nano Rebel video. Um, if not, ugh, how rude. I will have it linked down in the description. Um, but yeah, so I do, but I do want to be very productive and get a lot done during NaNo. So I do have a lot of prep to do. Um, and so I'm gonna actually for once try to get some work done on, on Friday. I don't know how much, but I want to get at least a little bit because I do have a lot, a lot to do. And I did not get as much done during the week, like tangibly done, although I did get a lot mentally done. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. But yeah, so sort of what I'd like to do today is try to make a good dent on typing up the notes. I've given up hope that I'll be done with the plotting Bible by the end of October, but I'm still gonna work towards it. I'm just not gonna, I'm just already mentally preparing myself that it may take longer. So I'd like to make a good dent in that. And then also work on my collab with Kevin that I said I was gonna be able to tell you guys more about this weekend because by the time you saw this, the collab would be up. But Kevin and I actually decided to push that video back a week. So I have to be very vague about it <laughs> still but it is a project that Kevin and I are, it's like an experiment that Kevin and I are both doing and then we're gonna, yeah, post about it. So I need to work on that. Also, I now need to film a video for Monday because that was originally gonna be my Monday video. So I think I'm gonna do my review of Neil Gaiman's uh, masterclass. So I think I need to prepare for that. I have notes, but like I need to get them all ready to do the filming. I also need to film my, um, another collab maybe I shouldn't say what it is. I'm doing another collab for a video that will post next Friday, which is not a typical posting day for me, but I need to film that video this weekend also. So I'll have three videos up next week. Well, by the time you're seeing this, I've already had one on Monday and then this is Wednesdays and then I'll have one on Friday. Yeah, so I feel like that's it. Also, um, I guess I'll just get into it now, why not? I, now that I've like decided that Beware of Monsters is a horror, I've been working on like thinking that through and I actually realized that two other horror ideas because like I have like a whole little like one note of ideas and I had two horror ideas that I've been holding on to for a while I was talking them through with Aaron um with a lot of advice and ideas from Aaron I want to give him credit because he feels I'm not giving him enough credit that is not true <laughs> You always bring it up like these are my ideas. I, I told oh, you. They're, they're I know. Good ideas. They are good ideas. So anyway, um of a way to make the th all three of them connected, basically in the same universe, but they're all three different types of horror, which is really exciting too, like the idea of having them like be like a series-ish, like it's not like the same characters, it's just the same world and they're all like connected. I don't wanna say how they're connected, um, but like they would be like, you could read them individually and it wouldn't like make a difference, but that they, could be read together as well. Um, I just really, I'm really excited about that idea. I think it's like a really cool, fun idea and all three horrors are different types of horrors, which is also really exciting. So anyway, we've had all of these ideas we've been talking about all week. I really want to like nail down like what we've been talking about and like, cause I haven't written it all down and like gotten it all like, so I just have so many thoughts <laughs> and I need to get them down. So that's what I'm trying to get at. So I need to do that as well this weekend is like get all my ideas out, get them all like basically kind of like, mm, what's what I'm looking for? Uh, like synopses kind of of all three of those books just so that I don't forget what we talked about. Also I just remember because I'm writing horror now and I want to like study the genre a little bit better. I think I told you guys this, I ordered three horror books that I plan to read that I think could be comp titles for my ideas of my books. And also I want to be studying them and like taking notes. Oh Lord, look at that white hair. So pretty though, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, um, y'all know I get distracted by my hair all the time. Um, 
but uh, that's also a plan is that I want to be reading those and making notes uh, and like little sticky notes and stuff like that so I also need to clean because remember how I showed you guys last weekend I needed to clean well I only partially clean and it's like back to being terrible oh hey Buffy you guys haven't seen Buffy in a while have you um Maybe if I can, she's drinking water right now, but maybe I can get her over here in a second. So yeah, so it's a lot. So like, need to work on the plot bible, need to work on two different collabs, film my video, and read the horror books, and brainstorm my horror trilogy. So, and the good thing about the horror trilogy is I know they tell you not to really like work on this, but the thing is, is like if one of those didn't work, I could still do the other two like or one of those or not you know what i'm saying like they're not contingent on each other so it's just three separate ideas that have a thread so um yeah so that's it gosh she's drinking a lot of water you thirsty buffy i think it's because she just ate food just give me one second let's see if i can get her in here buffy come here come here buffy all right guys i don't know how long i have with her because she is a wild one, but oh, it's Buffy! Buffy, your adoring fans want to say hello. Here, say hello to your adoring fans. <laughs> oh, I know you don't want to, but look really quick. Look how big she's gotten, you guys. It's like, and she was such a baby. You were such a baby. You were such a baby. Do you remember that? Just tell me to be quiet. <laughs> okay. Say bye to everybody. Say bye guys, I'm gonna go play. Okay, say bye. <laughs> All right guys, well like I just told you, I have a lot of work to do, I need to get to it. We also have movies to watch every night. We are currently in the middle of a final destination marathon. So we are watching three tonight, four tomorrow, and five on Sunday, so. All right guys, I will be back later. Hey guys, it is Saturday. It's around three o'clock. I've been up for a while, but I wasn't doing anything like writing related. So, um, because Aaron is here on um, this weekend, typically he's gone around this time, but he's here. So we actually were getting some things done that we needed to get done. So we like cleaned out the fridge and we cleaned the kitchen and we, um, made a list for um, the grocery list. We're gonna be trying some new recipes this week I'm excited about. So we needed to like go through the recipes, decide what we wanna make, and then make the grocery list, you know, et cetera. Um, we had uh, brunch a little bit ago, it was delicious. Uh, I had, you know, my typical weekend brunch of like eggs with cheese, and I had some peppers, some bell peppers and serrano peppers, um, and a, an English muffin. So, and now the doggies are sleeping and Buffy's hanging out in the living room, looking out the window. So I think I'm gonna get some work done now. So last night I didn't update you guys, but last night I did get some work done. Well, I basically just read some of the, I told you guys I ordered some horror books. In fact, I think I have them near me, so I'll show you. So I'm reading Horrid, um, I got this. Um, and this is about a girl who like has to move back to her mom's old like childhood home and some weird stuff happens. Um, and then I started, this is what I was reading last night, um, Harrow Lake. It's about a girl whose dad is a horror film director and she goes to the town where his most famous movie was filmed and some weird stuff happens. And then this last one is The Companion and it's about like a girl who basically is like orphaned and then she goes like live with a family to be the companion of another child and weirdness ensues. So yeah, so I'm basically reading these and studying them. Um, Harrow Lake is a lot more similar to, it's actually similar to two of my ideas in my trilogy. Um, it kind of like takes two concepts and mashes them into one. So I think it's gonna be really good for a comp. Um, so I'm reading that and like kind of like seeing how certain things are done, how certain things are written, portrayed, that kind of stuff. So I count that as working towards my writing. So I'm doing that. Um, but for now, I think I want to try to get some like technical stuff done. I do think I'm going to type up some notes for my Neil Gaiman review, which I'm planning to film. I film that and my a collab video tomorrow. So I think I'm going to get those notes and then possibly work on my other collab that I'm doing with Kevin. And I still have to type up some notes. So that's basically all the things I need to do. I'm not sure what I'm going to work on right now. 
I might just type up some notes just to m make sure I get some done. Um, especially because Aaron and I have been listening to some music this morning. So that way I can put that back on because I can listen to music while I type up the notes. So writing up notes for writing deep scenes. Um, we might possibly do early voting this weekend. Um, we really need to just get it just by the bullet get it done. I just don't want to wait in line. <laughs> just not looking forward to waiting in line. Um, so we'll see how we feel either today or tomorrow. Um, so that might happen. And then, um, yeah, and we're also, we also need to clean a little bit in our room because we spent our morning cleaning the kitchen. So yeah, so I think we're gonna listen to some more Machine Gun Kelly. His new album is really good, Tickets to My Downfall. So I think we're gonna listen to that. I'll type up some notes for now and then I'll let you guys know later when I switch things up to something different. Hey guys, it is, um, I don't know, like one something on Sunday. I did not up you date, up you date? <laughs> I did not update you guys um, anymore yesterday. Because yesterday, like, just really honestly happened in a blur. I did some notes um, for a while, a couple hours. I worked on that while, like, listening to music. And we also watched some of the new Unsolved Mysteries. Um, but I just kept feeling super tired. And, like, I couldn't figure out why. And I was, like, literally, my eyes were, like, watering. So we made coffee. I had a cup of coffee, like, around 5. Um, and, like, it literally, I was dozing off at the desk, even though I just had a cup of coffee. So I was like, okay, maybe I just need to take a little cat nap. So I came and laid down. I fell asleep, um, like, around 6 and slept until, like, 7. And then got up. We had dinner and watched uh, Final Destination 4. And then I literally fell asleep right after um, and slept the rest of the night till this morning. So I... <laughs> didn't get enough done yesterday I'm not happy about it so I have been up since about right around 10 o'clock this morning and I was doing work while Aaron was still sleeping typing up notes um and that's primarily what I've been doing so far um and I've been making good headway but I have like a list of things now that I have to get done today with like actual like numbers like not like oh work on this but like how much I need to get done so my plan for today is to get notes typed up through page 122 and I think I'm on page 102 so about 20 more pages um I need to complete the part that I've been marinating in my um which you don't really know what I'm talking about but like for the collab that's going up next week there was like some questions that I needed to answer for that and I needed some time to think about that so I need to complete those today then I need to film three videos today and I need to type up filming notes for the one of the videos for the Neil Gaiman review um, I need to update and so with the movie we watched, which I just did, and then Aaron and I are going to work on a Kanban board for the rest of the year for us, and we want to get that done tonight as well. So that is my plan for today. I have actionable items that I'm going to try to complete. I'm really close to being done with the notes, so that's what I'm working on right now. I'm also watching some of Greenleaf. If you really like drama, family dramas, I highly 10 out of 10 recommend this show. I'm on season three. I think JC, I think you watch it. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, Aaron's got a meeting in town with the, at the house, a showing a little bit later. So I'll definitely be able to get some stuff done uh, while he's gone as well. So that's what I'm doing right now. So now I wanted to try to get back to these notes and get this complete. Hey guys, time for an update. It is 531 and I just met my page goal for notes. So I just finished typing up notes through page 122, which is halfway through the book. So, you know, hopefully it was like mostly heavy in the first half so I can get through the second half quicker. But I do think what really helped is that I set a page goal because I don't know, like I wouldn't know when to stop and I probably wouldn't have got as much done. And I think like I don't know, I think it just helps me stay on task and get things accomplished if I have, like I'm trying to work on actionable goals rather than like vague, like work on notes, you know? So that is done, notes are done for today. So far I have 16 pages, single spaced of notes from this book. This is a really big, like uh, influential book for me. I think it's been so helpful. I mean, it's a little tedious typing up all these notes, but first of all, I think the end result is going to make it totally worth it because every time I go to plot a new book, I will have these notes in each section of that part that I'm plotting so I can remember like what I need to focus on, what the scene should do, that kind of stuff. So I really think it's gonna help for that. But at the same time, reading back over all of these quotes and typing them up is like cementing them a little bit more in my brain. Cause I know sometimes you just like read through a book and then you like, oh yeah, but then like you don't ever think about it again or remember this stuff. And I feel like I read it once, now I'm reading it a second time to decide which ones to type up. Then I type them up between them, writing it, well, reading it a third time, 
one of my light bulbs is going out. Sorry, uh, that looks like a disco or something. A disco. Anyway, so, so yeah, so I just really think this is helping to cement some of this, um, information for me. So, it's an arduous task, but I think it will yield good results in the end. So, where, oh, I hit my keyboard. Um, okay, so let me mark that off my to-do list. So I got that and I've been using my new um, Happy Planner. I updated my Insta. Okay, so now the next thing I need to do is type up my filming notes so that I can film my review of the Neil Gaiman Masterclass. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have the notes over on the other desk. So I'm gonna grab those, I'm gonna type those up um, and get ready to film. And then that'll be the next thing I do is film that video at the minimum. I have two other videos I need to film today. Um, Aaron's gonna be home with dinner in a little bit. We're getting Panda Express. No pizza, cause we're on a 30 day detox of pizza. So um, I at least need to get one video filmed cause that goes up tomorrow at the very least. I prefer to get them all done in the same day, but sometimes it doesn't happen. So I at least need to get that one filmed. And then once that happens, then I can work on my Kevin collab. That's what we'll call it, my Kevin collab video. Um, actually both my collabs have to do with Kevin. Interesting tea. But this is a different one. This is the one that's going up next week. Um, it, like the experiment that I'm doing with Kevin. So, okay. So yeah, so that's the plan of action. Um, not a lot's going on in this vlog this weekend. Um, we were going to try to vote early, but Aaron got a call to show the house. So that's why he's not here and he's in town. Um, so that kind of went out. We'll probably just go, if if not before, we'll probably go this Friday because um, I took the day off on Friday because I have some medical like tests and blood work and things I have to get done on Friday. And um, it's also my best friend's birthday who passed away um, 15 years ago this year. So um, she died a few weeks. She was my um, like maid of honor. Um, and she died a, a six weeks after Aaron and I got married. So, um, she was 22. Um, and she died in a train derailment in Chicago. So, um, I usually like to like use that day to like remember her and think about stuff and you know, so it's always a really hard day for me anyway. And then I also just happen to have these, uh, appointments on that day and it's Friday, um, and the Friday before Halloween. So it just felt like a day to take off. So anyway, I will be out and about for the day, but not having to work. So I, pr and I plan to get some other errands taken care of. So if not before, I do plan to vote that day if not before so just a reminder vote um unless you want to vote for trump and then you could stay home if you want to actually i don't think anyone who would want to vote for trump watches my video so i'm not really worried about that but yeah we need to get that psycho out of the office <laughs> so need to make sure i do my part um so yeah so but anyway what i was trying to say is like this wasn't a, like the liveliest vlog so far because i didn't really do a lot especially since i mostly slept yesterday which is like ugh, i don't i'm not happy about that but i am getting things done i did type up a lot of notes so i feel good about that and um yeah now i'm about to go type up the notes for my video so i'll be back in a little while I don't know why I sing. Hey guys, I am here to update you on the end of the weekend and how everything went. So last you saw me, I had just filmed three videos and then I said I was gonna work on a collab project um, that I can't really go into specifics, I said this a million times, but basically just to kind of get an understanding, it's a writing experiment that Kevin and I are doing and it involves one of my horror book ideas and I'm really struggling with it, so having a hard time. Like, I think part of it's because I don't. I, I it's been so long since I've come up because like this is one of the new horror ones, not like my rethinking of Beware of Monsters. Um, and I, it's been a long time since I've worked on like a new project with like new characters, new ideas, new whatever, and um, it's just taking a lot. <laughs> it's just been a while. I'm a little rusty. So I've been working on that um, since I filmed for the last couple hours, but my head just feels very like congested. <laughs> Not literally, but like 
it hurts. You know, I've been thinking a lot. So I'm ready to be done. It's like midnight and I have to work in the morning. So I think I'm going to just spend the rest of the, what little time I'm still awake reading Harrow Lake, um, which is part of, you know, my uh, researching horror movies. So, I mean, horror books, <laughs> you know, to learn um, for my own. So the weekend overall, I mean, I was a little upset that I fell asleep yesterday and I think I would have gotten more done had that not happened. But I did make really, really good headway on my notes for the plotting Bible. Buffy is going insane in the background. I don't know if you can hear it, but she's being very vocal. Um, so I did make really good headway on my notes uh, for the plotting Bible. I did film three videos and I am making some progress on this collab, but maybe not as much as I would have liked. So that's it. This was kind of a, this is kind of a low key weekend. Not a lot of like B-roll or interesting things happening, but next weekend, bleh, I can't talk. <laughs> But next weekend should be a fun one because it is Halloween weekend, so hijinks will probably ensue. Um, I also am not working on Friday, so I might start the Friday vlog a little early. Um, and also, it is the first day of NaNoWriMo, so a lot will be going on next weekend. It'll be a lot more lively, animated, and uh, hopefully I won't sleep an entire day basically <laughs> next weekend because I have a lot to do. But for now, I'm going to grab a good book and try to get some sleep. And I will see you guys again next weekend. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed hanging out with me this weekend, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It tells YouTube that you found this content enjoyable and that someone else might too enjoy hanging out with me on the weekends. Um, and if you're not already subscribed and you want to hang out with me again next weekend, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that opportunity as well as seeing all these mystery collabs that are going to be coming out. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you guys as always for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.